here's a difficulty screen that was added oh, already because Green Energy asked us and it's only one of the things that we added because of requests so and final game will have more settings before start not only difficulty probably others as well such as world generation and like more detailed combat difficulty and maybe something more right yes people were saying some people said that the game is too hard and they can't finish it and others were saying that it is too simple like you have to complicate it so for now we decided to make easy mode with help of enemies yes yeah, so we will play normal today because i think i will be able to handle it yeah and let's search oh one moment it's too loud yeah. So, I probably will skip tutorial and we can start with the castle and have new categories that are better than previous buttons and we also have uh, it's like small changes but we also have cursors and it was only this arrow before it's like basic stuff but we didn't have time to edit before demo yes but uh, players will be able to play it one more day so it's not a big problem we yeah. a little bit missed ending of this festival and planned beginning of our stream just for final minute <laughs> of it. It was a bit strange. Yeah, but anyway, uh, if you just want to ask anything or tell us something, feel free to write in the chat. Yes. So I will start with uh, like basic buildings as always and I hope we will not see those bugs that were present in the game before festival. Yes, before festival we had a lot of bugs uh, connected to characters movement or fighting or like they could be stuck in in walls, uh, in towers, they didn't want to fix things or even build. But thanks yeah. to players who reported uh, a lot of bugs, we were able to fix it very quickly. Yeah, and we have like almost 200 <laughs> fixes on our list, so... I hope we will fix them all before early access and also we are planning to add even more content so you can enjoy a game longer than in a demo and not get bored. Yes, demo was intentionally short and intentionally without saves. Uh, however, we had some problems, but with saves, and we decided to concentrate on working on gameplay, so people could really enjoy it, fix things. Um, by the way, uh, for new people, or someone who will watch this video later on, uh, the idea is that we build at daytime and fight at night. Uh, blue fires, blue torches, uh, at the edges of our kingdom <laughs> show from where uh, the next wave of enemies will come. We play for sunny people and moon monsters are those who we fight with. Yeah, and I've added 
uh, one cool effect that you will see very soon and then like our people or moon enemies die they disappear and cool effect and you'll see it very soon and also we have this icon that shows units damage and you will also have uh, different types of armor so it will, it will be a sword for damage and shield for armor but right now it's only damage so it's only one number here yep and, and uh, yeah what did you want to say yeah i'm thinking what i need to build at this moment probably more food you have a lot of gold maybe you could build barracks for the future or uh yeah and i changed wood production a bit so i will need one more sawmill in this build so it works slower now right yeah you don't you can't build big castle with only one sawmill uh, right now you need two of them but probably we will work on this more and uh, we also uh, you can see workers attached to a building as suggested by our community you can see this farmer working in the field and these hunters working in this hunter hut so simple but very useful yes yeah, so community is already improving our game and by the way this idea with blue torches uh what in was implemented uh, the last i think the last day just before yeah. the festival and this is actually an idea from my tiktok i do videos about our games got game there and someone wrote a comment to add yeah us. awesome and it really helped us a lot because we didn't want just random waves all around our castle yeah and here they go and they deal a little bit less damage than our swordsman's yeah and you can and see this Ah, it's not very I good. I can not see it because of the grass. A lot of grass, yeah. Probably next day. If you want to oh. see... Uh, hip -hip. <laughs> yeah, health. Uh, health, yes. I always forget this word. If you want to see health bars of all units and houses, you can press Alt. Alt. Yeah. There's a lot of HP. And also one cool idea that I heard on our Discord was to sh um, like add an option to show health bars or that are not full. So that you, for example, you'll be aware of damaged units and buildings and not to be overwhelmed by full health ones. I think it's very useful. I also said this. Yeah? Yes. Well. Are you going to build more? Yeah, I need uh, archers probably over here. Or maybe, yeah, all right. And uh, by the way, at the top you see a uh, sun and uh, it can show how long uh, before the night yeah and the so night also has its time and when it's over all enemies will die yeah and probably we should add that enemies don't die instantly and begin to take in damage so it will look better i think that will be harder <laughs> to play uh, they still will die pretty quick I think and I need more sunstone and 
I will need a tavern and also I need a few archers. Yes, and by the way, our people spawn uh, in the castle and uh, uh, how quick they do <laughs> how? depends on uh, our happiness. It can be increased with some houses, for now it is tavern or decorations. Uh, yes, and right after sunstone workshop I will build a tavern and I just need a wood. Uh, how much? I build a sawmill and I forget to put a worker. And all workers are training. Oh, here's one. Uh, what? Also get updated during a demo. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was too many fixes in a short time. I think you fixed a lot of little bugs that not all people uh, saw. Uh, there were bugs with build uh, builders. Yeah. <laughs> builders, what? I don't. Builders remember. guild. Yes, builders guild. Uh, yeah. They, uh. Uh, they should uh, go immediately and build. Uh, houses or fix things and they didn't want to do anything at first which we for some reason didn't notice at all yeah but and the players saw it uh, right away <laughs> yeah our players are like very good testers And it's great because we don't have that much resources and they help us a lot with this. I hope they don't mind <laughs> to see a few bucks for a short amount of time. By the way, you don't have anybody working in a windmill. Oh yeah, I built too much buildings. Uh, this is one thing we didn't fix yet. Uh, I think we should show somehow that house uh, doesn't have any workers. Yeah, definitely. It's on our to-do list, so we'll get there. I'm trying to build like a beautiful city over here. <laughs> Not sure if. It's... I, I think it will look good. Do you have someone in the town? No. Yeah, this guy. And we probably will make a fireplace here near castle where free workers will gather. And yeah, so it will be easier to find them. Yeah. By the way, I have a question. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of mushrooms that we didn't didn't add yet to the game. I'm sorry, my English is bad sometimes. But we have this one blue mushroom. Why did you put right. it there? Because it is not generated. It's always in the same place. Yeah, so it's just a reminder to work on mushroom placement system. So oh. he stands here to remind us about this. That's interesting. So this is how you remind yourself. Yeah. So... I already have a lot of buildings and... Oh, we got attacked. Maybe this time we can check out cool enemy disappearing animation if we... Like, make a combat some, somewhere here. Do they also appear with it? Uh, not yet, because it's a bit tricky. Okay. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, maybe we wouldn't even see them at all when they are appearing, because 
we will have the mm, something yeah. like uh, shadow mist, mist or something like that. And then yeah, we'll probably. Oops, we still need to like figure this out. Uh, and one more tower over here. And let's see. I need food. I want to mention that in the final version, uh, we will definitely have uh, stone walls and towers. We already have that, but we didn't add that to the demo. I just like not show the whole game and say something. Yeah. Different. Yeah, and stone walls will hold two lines of archers, so it's probably for a late game when you get big waves of enemies and it will look like... I hope it will look like something from Lord of the Rings when they were sieging Helm's Deep. Yeah, or something from Minas Tirith siege. Yeah. By the way, I've noticed we have one comment from Kemblik. He yeah, says cool. that he's super excited for this game uh, and that he played the demo for like three hours yesterday. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, a lot of people are playing this demo many times and I really did not expect in this. Was not I was not expecting this. <laughs> it was. Uh, Pleasant surprise. Uh, some yes. people even played it like six times. Uh, yeah. It's very interesting. Really, really didn't expect people to like it that much. Like we understand we have problems and all, and this is still in development. But so far, there were people that were like super happy about this, and this is very encouraging for us. Yeah, okay. definitely. It's a great push to work more on this and on details that are cute or interesting because people really get, some people really get emotions from this. Yeah, and a lot of different people are playing this game, uh, like people for his different age and it's really something new for us. As our previous games were like on like small audiences, yeah, of they were very niche games, and this one seems to be to have like very broad audience. And uh, our previous game, Happy Room, was I think just a popular style for that time but not all ages were able to play it. I think for older people it wasn't just that interesting at all. Yeah, it was not uh, that interesting for like many people, I guess. But this one seems like to appeal to... like to... <laughs> how, how do you say it? Help me. <laughs> What more, do you want to say? More people like uh, this kind of games and it's great. Yes. And you need to work here. And he have this resident have 10 damage somehow. And we probably should name him... Oh, I have an idea. We probably can, you know, make names. Yes, I dream about names. Like but real names, like for now. like probably Anton uh, or something like that. We can come up with a lot of interesting names that might consist of two words. Even. Uh, words. Yeah, but we will need more space here. Or uh, okay, at first we can I can write a lot of names in English and in Russian. Some will be just simple, uh, common names to make people like feel that they are in this game for example like Anton is a mm -hmm. frequently used name and someone named Anton will see <laughs> his name <laughs> in the game. Yeah it probably um, need to be imaginary and fantasy names not like regular Yeah 
just for fun uh, but uh, of course mostly they should be like uh, some some connected to thematics i think yeah you need to come up with naming methodology like Tolkien he have a na na like languages and names in that languages for his books probably we yeah. can simplify this we can but. think about creatures that might exist like what uh, their language might look like and uh, I don't know, for example, someone with long ears might be named like e Elvish, uh, like <laughs> almost like yeah, Elvish, or, uh... Elvish, something like that, to make people associate it with something. Yeah, why not? Okay, so, by the way, uh, the main thing in this game uh, that we created uh, the main interesting thing is that we have this cells and uh, walls can be built only on edges and towers on corners yeah this is interesting because it's quite simple you don't have to think a lot about where to put the wall like angle of it and all that stuff yeah it's very easy and uh, I don't see something like this in a, as a game. Yes, and uh, funny that many people uh, say, uh, I think before they play, that this looks so much like Norse God. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's really interesting because I think the only thing uh, that we saw there was like these cells, but we use them differently. Yeah, for sure. And we didn't plan co-op at first, um, but now um, uh, we don't say no completely to that. Maybe in far future something might happen with that. Yeah, if we get like probably some amount of sales, we can really think about making a multiplayer because it will require some resources and yeah, like maybe a lot of someone work. help us with that, with that. Like if, uh, if people will really need this yeah, we'll see and probably need a church at this moment yes, and uh, by the way, at the top uh, you see a little sword and 12 warriors. Number 7, which is yellow, says that those soldiers are dead and we can resurrect them in our church. Yeah, and we have a lot of decorations and, and new one. one. new decoration. Yeah, for Halloween. Yeah, just to show that uh, we really expect people to play it and uh, we would like to add a set for different uh, holidays or how to say it for different yeah world. holiday yeah. like yeah. different events and uh, where is his eyes yeah he will stand in the back of the church and We'll have some trees, but we can't really see him <laughs> because of these trees. And definitely, yes. we'll have more trees and more things on the ground. Uh, also, different uh, levels of ground. I hope we already have uh, uh, some fake things just to test things out yeah uh, so it will be like different levels of house and can make uh, tactics around this too uh, and I almost forgetting about my 
fences. I probably need some towers over here. And uh, now you can build trebuchets on towers. And uh, I think we will add more things like that. Um, because uh, this was one of the main ideas for this game, that we have siege machines coming to us and we can defend with something alike. Uh, yeah, and I probably can place, but I, do I have enough? Yeah, I can probably place one over here. Uh, yeah, and you now can see range where it like can That's shoot, awesome. and, awesome. and it can shoot too close to tower. So you need to plan this. I saw this a few days ago uh, on your Twitter, and yeah. I thought that it will appear in new build, and it didn't, and. I felt a bit sad <laughs> because I thought it was already in the game. But now here it is. Yeah. And you can also see this icon of Trebuchet over here. But it, there is no damage right now. Need to fix this. And it's also archer damage is 40. Do you remember my idea about uh, a siege uh, house where you can build uh, siege house construct different uh, siege machines? Uh, yeah, we probably will make this one, and I think uh, it must be linked to like global research tree. Probably you will need yeah. it for some some researches and we can make this um, trebuchet that probably it can be firstly made in siege house oh, I don't know, oh, we can experiment with this I mean it can be made in siege house and then you can put it on top of a tower or we can leave it like this so many yeah. different options and I can place some archers over here. And I think I will use uh, melee barrack as well because I saw some clips on YouTube. And some combos were like very cinematic. And when you use archers and melee units, and I want to try to make something like that. And I need some houses. By the way, <laughs> I was saying it a lot that we have a special secret option on button X. Uh, yeah. Some people didn't see that and they were reporting it as a bug and asking like, why, does, why is this happening? So <laughs> yeah, you can spawn a lot of deers. Yeah, something that uh, programmers needed just to check it out, and for some reason they, you, <laughs> didn't want to delete it from the game. Yeah, just so people can play around with this, and I don't know, everyone loves rebels. Uh, for some reason, there are weird collisions sometimes with the audience. I, I thought this was uh, intentional. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Probably. Uh, anyway, how's my army doing? I probably need some warriors. And these archers can go here. And Aren't you scared that enemies will come to your left? tower right away from left tower yes uh, and they will go on wall from it 
Okay. Because it doesn't have, yes, because it doesn't have a wall at all. Okay. Well, I have enough for uh, warriors. I think it's 21. But. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I also have trebuchet. And I can put my warriors over here so that enemies will remain in damage area. Uh, yeah, nice to archers. Hey, all, almost all my warriors are dead. Oh no. Yeah, it Might was not that hard. You can also disappear with that uh, effect, but... Yeah, the they, they do. Didn't you notice? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, which way is next? So, this way. And probably I can build Multiple sheds, right? Yes. I really love tribuchets because uh, they don't need uh, people and they do everything automatically. Yeah, like in our different games. Uh, it will be awesome to see like all this, all these like points with towers and each one had trebuchet and like big enemy wave coming from top and just to see how they destroy enemy army to look like I mean you can just enjoy the view yeah by the way one more thing that we created during the festival were changes uh, graphic changes options. Yeah. Because some people had uh, too low FPS. And yeah, and I. Yeah, you can change settings, and probably you need to lower grass and disable SSO and anti aliasing, and lower the resolution, and you will be able to play this even on laptop and. I've tried it and it was like almost a solid 60 FPS all the time. So let's move archers over here. Probably I can put... Ah, I need more stone and I have a worker. And also I try to build more melee units th this time and funny thing that it's only five slots but actually you can make more if you click and you will see this little icon but as i saw in videos almost no one uses this they think that it's only five slots available and they just fill these five slots and not try to <laughs> press this button more it's funny how like visual style can say how things work and it actually works a bit different way. <laughs> you probably need to do something about this. So I probably can make one more. Oh I don't have gold. And it is actually a sandstone. Oh, I mean, yeah, sandstone. Probably, uh, yeah, I thought about this one and maybe we need a like short world, world that will describe sandstone because sandstone it's like. Sandstone quarry? Or. Uh, yeah, I mean, sandstone itself, so it will not be sandstone. Probably it should be something like, not not a stone. I don't know. Just I don't have any particular on my mind right now. And I can place few decorations. 
are being asked uh, about a bug that Vanya Leo asked you or told you about in Discord, if you remember that. Uh, yeah, about uh, about workers, right? I think it was fixed. Uh, as one moment. Yeah, it probably was workers and sand and stone mine. And uh, if I understand correctly, he asked us if we could uh, try to repeat that. See if that's fixed. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. I've tried it before demo when we were stuck in uh, with him on Discord and it was working in current build. I just need to check if it's 1.5 version and probably it will work. I mean, it worked for me. He had a lot of um, bugs with workers and I hope all, all of them were fixed. Uh, yes, and uh, tomorrow and this evening is the perfect time to play it because it has like less bugs it ever had. Yeah, it feels like almost ready to launch. So, I can make more decorations around this tree. And fountain over maybe over here and a uh, well probably we will we'll need, need to add fires into in our game so wells yes. can be used to put it down uh does it add uh, happiness right now i think so i saw a screenshot with like yeah i saw it too few <laughs> a lot of wells really for, do it for ridiculous amount of happiness yeah so it adds one because i didn't know it will work like that i think and i didn't add any words suggesting that uh, in the info about the well uh, oh, it's hard to like keep all things in mind i spent did I spend gold? Oh, I need 500 for this to share. It shouldn't... Uh, <laughs> it shows red everything. It should show red only the thing that you need more. Yeah. And... Hey, I don't have enough food. But probably we will survive this one without any more. Come on, 40 more gold for night. I hope this is possible. Yeah. So. I s still have a lot of wood and probably we need to decrease production even more. You can add uh, walls, more walls with wood. Yeah. Oh, but after this night. So have a lot of units over here. And we can move them over here. Hey, they have catapult too. It's not cool. Hey, 
Hey, they have two uh, Maybe catapults. you can use a slower time while we have... Yeah, I get shot in there. Yeah, I will be alright in this one. <laughs> I like how they fly. Did you saw golden like effect? Yeah, I did. And this stone is filled with arrows. Um, oh, by no. the way, I remember time when I asked uh, if we can have uh, blood in this game. Oh yeah, we need to uh, try this. Think, what do you think about this now? Because they disappear in this beautiful effect. Should they have blood option? Mm. I don't know, we can try and see how it will look. Or maybe it can be blue and gold. Gold blood? Hmm. Yeah. Or maybe like two options. Uh, three options. Without blood at all. Colorful or just simply red. Uh, yeah, probably. Sure, why not? And I'm getting attacked from different side each night and I can't like use my old towers and we didn't want to make this demo too hot we wanted uh, people to see it and just have fun uh, but later we will add possibility that enemies can come from different directions so, blue lights can be at like two sides. Yeah, Maybe. so you will attack, let's say, from this side and from this side at one night. And you will need to, like, be able to hold it, right? And maybe you will need, like, two walls, like outer wall and inner wall. If enemies got inside, you will still be. Like your main castle will still be defended if I, for example, will build a wall over here. You know what I'm thinking about? That uh, no matter from which side they go, will they come to a broken wall or something like that? Uh, will they come to a broken wall? Yes, will they look for it? Like if they understand uh, there is a hole in your wall mm. will they come to it right yeah i think they will so you can make uh, like uh, yeah a, a hole trap. in the wall trap and hole yeah trap hole like build a lot of towers around surround it with uh, yeah why not uh, and make them just come that way you can show this AI who is like the smartest one. And who is the real cool human. Yeah, and defeat it with like simple tricks. And I think it's great before because it always feels like you like full to game and players generally like this. But still, it should be possible to finish game without that. Yeah, sure. It's just a uh, like small fun thing to do. But you are not required to do it. We have a question in Russian. Uh, how much food uh, will be gathered? I think like every minute. Uh, if you use all resources and all upgrades, if I understand it correctly. Okay, you know? so it's, we probably have like the best spawn, we have like field, sawmill, and we also have farm. And we probably can get it like to the maximum, let's check. And I also don't use boars, but 
you can add it up. And they also I have Hunter Hut somewhere. Did you see it? Mm. No, I don't. Ah, here it is. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And so it's probably it's, it's 300, maybe. And also 90 more, so it's probably 390. If I will use this boar's spawn, you can put three walkers, it will be 90 foot. So you can keep population of 39 people if you will be lucky enough to get field spawn. Oh, I can also upgrade the field. And yeah, so you can even get 450, so 45 people. Yeah, it's uh, not record. Like, you don't need that much people for a demo, but if you want to, you can. And I will make a lot of these guys until the end of this playthrough. And. You have a lot of respawned soldiers? Yeah. And I need. I need all my archers over here and I'll move my melee units outside of these walls. Hey guys, where are you running? You can also do things like uh, if enemies are attacking from this side, I can. Oh, they are attacking from this side. I think this this tribuchets might help us. Uh, but I mean, you can build probably some symmetry over here, and enemies probably will attack it. By the way, interesting fact that uh, for now, for uh, decorative plants, we need wood. <laughs> I think it uh, yeah. must be built for gold or sandstone. It must be built in gold? For gold. Um, for gold. Because you, it's strange that you use wood to to plant a tree, like, <laughs> it sounds like you are planting the wood. Yeah, it's like an like in memes on the internet where they cut tree to a place a reward that's no saying save trees. So it's day six and have a lot of knights. And one more. And I'll make spearmans or pikemans. And we probably need to do something with these deers that because I don't think they will stay in the city with so many buildings around. Probably they need to generate more food, but you need to like leave this place untouched, like these boards outside of the city, what do you think? I think uh, that is reasonable, but quite uh, hard for the gameplay. Yeah, it must be like thought, very clear. Uh, I thought, so <laughs> what a hard word to say, uh, so many similar ones. Um, I had uh, some ideas uh, that we can uh, make those deers ours, like they live uh, on an animal farm mm -hmm. uh, and we can use them for uh, trades or, um, I mean someone can use them as uh, as a mount yeah at least uh, to go with uh, uh, with the caravan, let's say it that way. I don't remember. Yeah, that. sure. We can try it. But 
your idea sounds like we should get rid of hunters because that would be hard to explain that you shouldn't build anything uh, there yeah well we don't need to, to get rid of them but we can like keep them in the woods outside of the city and why not but yeah, we still but I don't know, it seems uh, really complicated for me, as for the game. And I'm getting a lot of dead horrors. These trolls are trying to break this door. <laughs> and now they're trying to break this one. So we fixed that they... Uh try to go on top of towers? They don't uh, do I don't think so. Probably they still can. Oh, so they are not trying to go on walls? Yeah, they try. Uh, he's trying to destroy my tower right now. I mean, they just hate trebuchets. Yep. I don't have that much warriors and all of my melee units are dead. Oh, we have a question in Russian about uh, flying units. Uh, yeah. Is it possible that we add, add something like that to the game? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we probably will, like, you know, any fantasy needs is a dragon, so we will have dragon for sure i don't know when at what stage of the game probably with some other magic stuff and probably we can also make like more simpler enemies maybe harpies or something like this like in fantasy maybe eagles i don't know what you will do with them eagles like probably bring a ring to the border faster. Uh, what what ideas do you have of any units that you can use? And uh, I think we can use maybe some. I know you can use them not only for combat but for like peace too. Uh, and uh, we probably will have some flying things, not only animals. We have like old concepts of how to say it, flying, big flying balloon with a lot of people, you know? Zeppelin. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason we have a 3D concept, uh, like very rough. Um, of uh, Zeppelin station, uh, we wanted uh, to make like a trade station like that instead of ships. Uh, I hope I say it the right way. <laughs> ships. Ship. Ship. No, I mean. Oh, uh, ships. Uh, yeah, that are ships. Yeah, and we uh, probably will have ships too. We plan into uh, rivers later in the game, and you can do like trade, probably like trade for sure, and I don't know maybe combat too. Who knows? Some combat ships. I don't know, but trade sounds good. I'm being reminded uh, in the chat that uh, I made uh, spiders and a dragon uh, yeah i did and those were really fake uh, just when we need uh, to try it out we can use them but really i have to do it from the very beginning hey it was just a concept and mm, we need to like to come up with like texture textures for dragons uh, and animations. 
Uh, I have a cool idea of dragon, so like you can summon it, and you can select uh, like units that maybe you just you know you can summon it and it just flies around in cool cinematic way and burn all your enemies and probably grass too and then fly away so that you will not uh, like see it idle like probably in some old strategies where dragon just fly on top of the trees he will like do this cool cinematic flybys like in game of thrones you know and do some crazy burning along the way and then he was go he'll be gone and I think it will look really cool and probably you will need to like capture dragon egg or find it somewhere up in the mountains and yeah and uh, I have an interesting idea just remind me about that later of uh, how something epic can appear yeah and what's it i just uh, i'm not sure i can explain it in english uh but okay so you see a cell mm -hmm. and uh, there is something uh, unusual there maybe you should do something like each corner has something uh, like you have to bring uh, amount of resources to it like uh, like you are buying something from gods, I don't know. And uh, after you finished with uh, a little like task this cell has for you, mm -hmm. uh, it uh, magically breaks into pieces visually. Uh, like uh, if it was uh, made of ice, I don't know, but with fire. Uh, and um, those pieces start to fly uh, quickly like if it was a ground explosion uh, from above ground above below <laughs> it was <laughs> on the cell it. right uh, like a big explosion from the ground yeah and this cell kind of breaks into pieces that fly away and something big and horrible appears from underground so it's, it's like someone, uh, someone uh, magic, or someone like, yeah, and like you can cell... see in World of Warcraft, someone, how do you call it, a big uh, like stone structure where priests are praying, and then something happens. Yeah, maybe it could be uh, a structure or something uh, comes from the ground. Maybe like in Zelda, uh, those sanctuaries or something like that. So uh, this cell kind of breaks, explodes, and you have a cr crater and someone or something in the middle of it. It could be a boss or it could be something good, I don't know. I just thought it might be an interesting, unexpected effect. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm just trying to make some nice screenshot <laughs> there's a lot of towers and torches it tro looks uh, really great and i was afraid that uh, big um, big city will will be like oh it's already night time it's a final wave yeah i was afraid that the big city will be like not easy to manage but it seems like uh, it's not a big deal after all yeah so i have archers i can use them and i did not encounter any bugs this time all my walls are working correctly and all, all the towers and workers seems to be working fine And it's great. Nice. I see yes, this sometime. Looks fine, and we can build uh, interesting cities now. Yeah. You can already show the magic. 
Yeah, I can summon some archers over here. It was done and created absolutely solely by you. Uh, yeah, but it uses this archer icon. It have uh, like small fires that I took idea from Zelda spirits. They have this fire particles around them, but probably we should change color a bit because it's almost possible to see. Uh, we had a question. Uh, what kind of programmers you are? I said that I don't really understand the question. <laughs> and, what uh, kind of what? Programmer? Programmers you are, like you and Mia. Uh, maybe yeah. it's what language you use. I don't know. Yeah, we are we using Unity and everything that, like, interactive in game, we done it in Unity. Uh, we can probably use these archers, right? And uh, I want to say that in the final game we will definitely have uh, neutrals. Uh, yeah, uh, like... Uh, how do you call them? Like wild trolls? Yeah, maybe. Oh, I just um, thought that this... Like Chivushet stone, it probably must broke these trees where it hits, because... And it doesn't work. Yeah, it must be like that. It would be... We need to uh, put this into our... to the list. So I can just... We have uh, 44 watchers. Are you willing to end this? after the game ends, or maybe we could show something more, if you like. 44? Oh, I forgot to turn on, like, feature, so... It's it's already too late. <laughs> I got this advisor, so Chris, it's telling me that... Excellent, we have defeated the Lunar Lord, it's great victory. Our journey is just beginning. Yes, uh, our little story for the demo ends here, uh, but don't worry, you can replay it until tomorrow evening. It is replayable and you can finish the game in different ways, maybe with, uh, without towers or without walls, with only melee or with only archers, it's up to you. Yeah, and uh, share with us your screenshot of your game. Oh, it's always great to see how like people playing your game and what what they come what up. are they doing. Yeah, it's. I probably will just make some screenshots uh, while still talking and. Do you have something that you want to say? I'll think about it. Uh, right now I wanted to say that uh, we really didn't expect that someone sent us uh, a screenshot with a lot of houses and uh, little uh, zones with plenty of wells. And uh, yeah. at that time I kind of knew that wells really do something right now, they add happiness. And that guy was just spawning them all. <laughs> yeah, it was like uh, half of a map filled with wells, like... <laughs> it was ridiculous. And we're planning to make this into... Like, you have a cell and you have... How do you call it? It's like... Um, level of happiness for a level cell. Level of happiness? And uh, maybe we should uh, have it maximum. Because someone can just use like wells and build it all over again and again. I mean, I don't know. In the sandbox, it definitely will be possible to do. 
but in game it might be not uh, like a very good thing. Yeah, uh, and I think it will be like more than happiness, so it will affect like you will need some amount of this like value to be able to use uh, upgraded houses. So it's like houses of rich citizen and they need like some decorations on the cell to be able to like have upgraded house. Uh, it it will be probably something like cell, I don't know, prestige level, something like that. Yeah, like for example, uh, this cell should have uh, a level uh, of prestige uh, to make it possible to build something fancy. And uh, we have explained that question. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit strange anyway. Uh, are you web? Front end, back end, or full stack? Well, <laughs> I think it's full stack. Just yeah, we, we don't have uh, like back end in general terms. We don't have any servers, so this game is everything it is. It don't have or any external like part of it. So, so I to... what? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you will say this. Hey, we just do anything our game needs and we don't have, like it's only three of us, we don't have place for these divisions, you know. Everything that needs to be done, we're doing it. And I wanted to show one cool thing that I added a while ago and you can change. It probably will be in um, sandbox so you can make cool screenshots of uh, Sunrise over your city. Maybe something like this. I don't know. It must be some cool shot with something in front. So you are already working on a sandbox mod. Uh well uh Probably a little bit. And uh, you know, uh, someone mentioned that it would be great if this game uh, had um, not a very quick change from day to night. Maybe we could use it uh, like day changes slowly into night and then it just clicks and we have enemies. When it's uh, like it's uh, been constantly uh, moving. Mm, oh, you mean uh, I don't know. Uh, transition itself is uh, more slow? Yeah, maybe do think that is not what we need. Maybe we have a day, and then for uh, like ten seconds we have this slow change into night, just to make it visible and beautiful that you can see a sunset or something yeah probably uh, I think we will make some like how do you call it when you have like camera cinematic mod and you can for example take a walk I mean fly a camera around to place different angles and make some screenshots uh, and uh, for people who see it for the first time, I just have to mention it that we have three levels of uh, houses, uh, simple houses for our workers where they live, and uh, each floor is picked randomly from few meshes, and. Uh, if we count all the possibilities of different houses of all levels, we have more than 1,000. So only with these houses yeah. you can build interesting, uh, slightly different streets. Yeah, so these ones for some reason have like same front, and but this one is different and roof. Oh, so there was a reference this back, right? When it was yes, I said about this. 
Oh. Anyways. No one really said about this anything. Yeah, it's a strange one. And I will have to re-upload these houses. Maybe I'll add even more of the first four. Because I have really few of them. Yeah, and I got population limit, and probably well, I can't do much in this game <laughs> at this moment. Uh, all my controls are locked. I can just look around. Yeah, mm. and at first it was uh, locked completely. Like you can't do anything. You you couldn't even click on things. Yeah, by the way, you can spawn these guys in a river, in a lake. And they can't move because no one can be in a lake, but they spawn there. Yeah. Well, probably that's it, right? We don't have anything more to say. Yeah. Right? Uh, I can just add that our demo, I remind you, is available for one more day. And that's it, you can enjoy it, play it, there will be no more fixes for it anymore, for now, that's sad, um, but thank you for all bugs reported, all your screenshots, your videos, and just ideas and things you shared with us about the game, it was really interesting for us. Yeah, it was like amazing amount of feedback we got and yeah just uh, interesting experience at all all this festival uh, people talking about the game and now we know better what is good and what is bad in this game yeah so then I guess thank you everyone for joining us today and joining this demo event and I hope yeah. to see you all at release and help us do this game even better. Yes, it will be available later this year uh, for early access. Yeah. So then, thank you everyone and bye. Yeah, goodbye.